Okay, in this video, we're going to consider one more property of the position vector. And, of course, by its nature, by its definition, the position vector points to a certain uh, point in two-dimensional space. So, for its i, j, and k components, it's going to simply be x, y, and z. And the magnitude of the position vector is just going to be this expression. In the previous video, we showed that the divergence of the position vector is equal to 3, the curl is 0, and if you take the gradient of the magnitude of any position vector, that gives you simply the unit position vector. And now, in this video, you want to consider taking the divergence of the gradient of the magnitude of, the, of any position vector, or that would be the Laplacian of the magnitude of any position vector. And we're going to show that, that is equal to the constant, the number 2, divided by the magnitude of the position vector. And to do that is really pretty straightforward, because you know what this is. That's just the unit position vector. So, essentially, to get the Laplacian, we want to take this dot product, where we have the del operator, and the partial with respect to x, plus the partial with respect to y, plus the partial with respect to z. And we're going to take the dot product of that, with the unit position vector. So we're going to have divided by its magnitude. Like this. So what happens if we take this dot product? Let's consider the first term. You have i dot i, that's 1. And of course, i dot with this is 0 and that's 0. So from the first dot product, we're going to have the partial with respect to x of the variable x divided by this denominator. So let's write that down. This will equal partial with respect to x, and this is the denominator, so we're going to write it like this, x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the minus one half times x. So that's our first term. The second term, as we keep taking our dot products, j dot i is 0, j dot k is 0, j dot j is 1, so now we're going to be taking the partial with respect to y of the variable y divided by this, so we're going to have this type of expression, partial with respect to y, um, writing this in the numerator, we would have x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the minus one half times y. And then of course for our last term it's going to be we'll write it right here plus the partial with respect to z of x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the minus one half times z. So when we take the dot product of the del operator with the unit position vector, we get this expression. So let's go ahead and evaluate it. Looking at our first term, we're going to have we have a product here. So we're going to have this times the partial of that with respect to x, which is just one. So, the first term is going to be then x 
squared plus y squared plus z squared to the minus one half, then we're going to have plus x times this derivative. And when we take that derivative, we take the minus one half sign down. So let's write it like this. We'll, we will have minus x times one half times x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the minus 3 halves power times the derivative of what's inside with respect to x, and that will be 2x. So from this term we get these two terms, and then we move right along, take the partial of this with respect to y, we will have this times that partial derivative, which is just 1, so again we have plus x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the negative one half, then we're going to have plus y times this derivative. When we take that derivative, we we'll take the minus one half down. So for our next term, we'll write it like this minus y times one half times x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And here, that's going to be again to the negative three halves power. And we take the partial of this, what's inside of the expression, with respect to y. So that will give us two times y. And then on our last term, again, we're going to have plus x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the minus one half minus z times one half times x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the minus three halves times 2z. So that should be all of the terms. Let's see if we can niceify this. Here we have this expression. We have it here. And again, we have it here. And it looks like this one half and that two cancel out. This one half and that two cancel out. This one half and that two cancel out. So looking at this first three terms, that's going to equal three. Now let's put this back in the denominator. That's going to be divided by x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the one half. And let's see, what do we have here? Here we have x squared times this to the minus three halves power. Um, here we have y squared, and just to be sure, these cancel, that one half and that two. So we have y squared times this to the minus three halves power. And here we're going to have minus z squared times that to the minus three halves power. So from this term, this term, and this term, we are going to have minus x squared plus y times y, y squared, z times z, z squared, and all these had a minus sign before them. Let's put this in the denominator, divided by x squared plus 
y squared plus z squared to the p has power. Now let's look at this. s squared plus y squared plus z squared to the one half power, that is the magnitude of r. So this is equal to 3 divided by r. Remember r is the magnitude of our position vector. That's just that quantity right there. So you have 3 over r minus, now here in the numerator we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So that's minus, that's r squared. And here we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the three halves, but r, magnitude of r, is this. To the one half, the magnitude of r. So this is r cubed. So this equals then 3 over r minus 1 over r, which equals 2 over r, which is what we were supposed to show right here. So again, it's not a complicated demonstration. It just gets to be a, a little bit tedious, but in a lot of books in the higher mechanics and in the electromagnetic theory text and all the more advanced texts of uh, vector analysis, this, 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 and this are considered to be very basic properties of the position vector being operated upon by the Dell operator in various capacities. So we just want to take a, uh, a video here, or actually a couple of videos to demonstrate these properties to you. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this video. Come back and join us for some more videos, and we'll try and solve some more problems.